in order to connect Hazora to Netlify, uh, we need a Netlify function that acts as a webhook for the sign up. And then it will send the user data to Hazora so we can store it in there. So first step to do that is to tell Netlify where do we store our functions. And to do that, we will need a netlify.toml file. So let's go to the root of the project and create a netlify.toml file. So first thing, we're gonna have build, and then here the command is gonna be yarn build. Second, we will have functions. We're gonna store the netlify function inside a functions folder. And then one last thing is, let's add some redirects. So this is gonna be from anything in app, slash app index HTML. And the status is gonna be 200. So this will allow us to configure Netlify to work properly with our client only routes. Let's save this and let's create the functions folder. And inside of the functions folder, let's create a file called identity-signup.js. Netlify will by default detect uh, this function as a webhook and you don't need to configure the webhook but if you want to name it differently you need to go to the identity section and configure the webhook on sign up to call your function before start coding uh, let's install a dependency that we need which is node fetch so let's do yarn add node fetch and while that's installing let's go here and require so we'll have const fetch now let's export a handler for our function, the handler will receive an event. And inside of this event, we can extract our user. Great, now let's send a mutation to Hazora to insert the user that it just signed up. So here we're gonna have a try catch block. Inside of the try uh, block, We'll have a const data and then we will await a fetch call. First thing we need the URL. So we will pass this through an environment variable. So for now, let's do process.env.hazura URL. Second, we need some configuration. So the method is going to be post. We will need to add some headers. First thing is the content type. And this is going to be application slash JSON. Next, which is most importantly, the Hazura admin secret. So this one is gonna be x dash Hazura admin secret, and it's gonna be an environment variable. So process dot end, and we're gonna call it Hazura underscore admin underscore secret. Now let's send the body, and in here we will JSON stringify the object that we wanna send. First thing, we're gonna send the query. And an easy way to get the correct syntax for the query, we can go to Hasura and go to the console. We can go to GraphQL here and let's choose mutation and hit plus. And let's go to insert user. And we want to insert the email and the user ID. And if we click in here, we will set them as variables and we want to get the affected rows when that's uh, done. So let's delete these two elements here and change the mutation to user mutation. Let's copy the entirety of this and go back to our code and paste it inside of the query. So this way we make sure that we're not misspelling any variable uh, whatsoever. Second, after the query, now we need variables and for variables we need email and user id so here we're gonna need an email and this one will get it from the user and the same for the user id which will be user.id we will then call then on uh, the, the response and we will return the json format however if we catch an error let's uh, log that so we will do console.error and here we will json stringify the error. We can also do some formatting and we will return a 500 error. Otherwise, if everything is fine, we will uh, return status code of 200 and let's return the body. 
And this must be a JSON string always, otherwise it will fail. Here we will simply return some app metadata and we will have a role. For now, let's call it free. For the environment variables on Netlify, uh, let's go here and first copy the URL and go to um, the Netlify uh, deploy section, go to deploy setting environment and add it as Hazura URL and I filled in the URL in here and the same for the admin secret you copy it from here and then paste it. Once this is done we need to push our code uh, to the main branch and then after that we can go to our website here and go to app slash dashboard and let's click login and here I'm gonna do a sign up and let's have some password I will go and confirm the email I copied the link inside of the email and I'll paste it here and you can see here if uh, we didn't see any error while doing the sign up this should work let's go to Hasura and data and click on our user table and you can see here, this is the email I used to sign up and this is the Netlify ID.